Howdy doody everybody, my name is Kev Gooey and welcome back to Nikopara. In the last episode, Chigeri came in to the bakery wearing some conspicuous, suspicious clothing, pretending to be someone else, and wanted to buy everything out. And then we found out that it was actually Chigeri. And then she had brought the family cat girls with her. And now we are trying to figure out how she found out about our bakery because we didn't tell her about it or about the location. Look, I don't have time for that right now. What? Oopsie? What do you mean, oopsie? Shigeri placed her hand over her mouth. A piece of paper fell from her kimono to the ground. Huh? Piece of paper? What is that? Hey, it's my business card. Wait, I haven't distributed these yet. As I said that, I suddenly realized something. This is your doing, isn't it, Vanilla? <gasps> it was Vanilla! Oh! Was that a decoy? When she said she'd wanted or needed to go to the drugstore? To give the business card to Shigure! <gasps> oh, so she didn't need to go buy anything at the drugstore, she just needs to go near the drugstore. Oh! That's... Oh, that's where she went, okay. So when she disappeared at the drugstore the other day, she had slipped out to send the card to Shigure, huh? I, I just told you that! I just told you that, Kasho! Oh, you don't listen to me! That's why she had to say... Or that's why she had said, Objective achieved! And evaded my question. Oh, yeah, I was a little confused about that too. Objective achieved. So earlier, when I couldn't get a hold of you... In chocolate and vanilla stowing away in the boxes, this was all part of your plan? Oh, Shiguri's a sly, sly girl. Hmm. They had a part in it. But it was all your plan, though. Ah, oh, it was your plan all along. Why does she sound or why does she seem happy about that? Me scolding her. Scolding and then she's saying bad little sister. Ah. I think it's a Japanese thing. What do you mean firm yet kind? Yeah, that sounds kinda of weird. Sometimes I have no idea what my little sister is talking about. Well, she's always been like this, so I let it slide. Still. Well, it was also wrong of me to move out without saying anything to you. <laughs> I awkwardly scratched my cheek while looking away. Oh, why does she look kind of sad? Oh, no, well, she's smiling. Never mind. She's been such a clingy, adoring little sister in the past that people even made fun of her for it. What? People made fun of her? Yeah, she's an adoring little sister? What kind of people are is that? What kind of people are those people? Making fun of her. I'm giving them peace of my mind. That is why I had to use such a roundabout high-handed tactic. In a sense, she worried about me more than even chocolate and vanilla. Well, she is our, you know, little sister. Our, you know, blood little sister. Blood related. 
No. That's why I didn't really feel like complaining. Hmm? Yeah, I am in good health. Thank you. Even though I ate, I probably ate like all the cakes and stuff and donuts. Oh my gosh, look at that. Look at that. The display of donuts and cakes. Oh, my mouth is watering right now. Uh, muffins, muffins. It's only been a few days, so nothing's really changed. Or happened. Shigeri had a gallant smile on her face as I rubbed her head. She let out a small laugh and smiled. It must have felt as good for her as it does for the cat girls. Really? Oh. Ah, Wait, where are you two? Like, where are you four hiding? Like, that were you just like waiting outside? And how come, or like, crawling outside? Like, we didn't notice you, right? Aww, Shigure was worried about me. Oh, that's not good. Oh. That's a sighing. Oh man. Wait, hold on. Uh, sorry, just not another thought came to my mind. Are there actually cats and like animals? I mean, like actual animal cats? I mean, it's only been cat girls, right? Huh. Hmm. Well, yeah. I mean, it's our little sister. Why did we leave in the first place? I forgot. We just, like, left, right? Pursue our dreams or something? I'm not sure. There must be a reason why I left. What? Cut ties with you? I'll never cut ties with any of you. My family. And I love you all. You're my family. Oh. So it wasn't to follow my dreams, huh? It was just to leave looking cool. Hey, hey, not all, not all human males are like that. The two of them deliberately raised their hands and grinned at me bitterly. Oh, Azuki and Maple were being a little too harsh, but even so, I didn't try to argue it. Sorry about that, Azuki, Maple. Oh, those are adorable names. I already feel guilty enough as it is, so lay off, okay? Aww. Aww. I really like coconut. I think she's... Hmm. I think it's just those eyes. Very mesmerizing. Hey, I was right about the interwebs. And... Oh, cell phone. Why the cell phone? What about yellow book? Yellow pages? <laughs> honest? What do you mean honest? What happened? Oh, cinnamon, coconut. I'm sorry to have worried you guys too. It won't happen again, so please cut me some slack. Well, of course it's not gonna happen again. What, are we just gonna, you know, pick up everything and leave? Like, what? <laughs> I lowered my head towards cinnamon and coconut. And just like that, all the cat girls in my family were assembled. 
Assemble cat girls. I appreciated the warmth of having my family here right now. Besides my parents. Here, but everyone else is here. Oh, it's father, huh? Hmm. The plot thickens. Ah, uh, I appreciate it. You've been through a lot, too. Sorry. Aw, she forgave me already. Are you well? Oh man. She wrapped her small hands around my hand. She didn't say anything about me slipping out without telling anyone. <gasps> really? Wait. Wouldn't that worry my parents too? It's like, <gasps> their son got kidnapped. Where did my son go? Oh no. She simply just forgave me. Aww. Even my little sister seems to have grown up well. Flawless at that. Hmm. Yeah, she seems really mature. Oh, see? See? I knew it. I knew the parents would be worried. Oh, especially mother. If it's father I'm worried about, mother would be really, really, you know, worried and upset and sad that I left. Oh, okay. Will do. Alright, I'll do that. Yeah, good job, Kasho. You make your mother worry. Pinky swear, I haven't heard that term in forever. We linked our pinky fingers together. When we were little, we always made promises with a pinky swear. Yeah, you made the pinky swear, you, you, you locked the pinkies, or you linked the pinkies together, and then you touched the thumbs together. That's, that's how the pinky swear worked. I think. That's how I did it, when I was a little babby. The girl smiled like a mischievous child. Once we'd done this, it was rather cute. Wait, what? G gentle scolding? Why was there a heart next to you when you said that? My wonderful little sister is so spoiled. Well, even so, she's still my little sister. Things always seem to go this way between us, so we didn't mind. Aww. I know. I worked hard to make it a fine and lovely bakery. Look at it, it's fabulous! And clean and classy. Well, hold on, hold on. No longer has to hide his love of baking. Did my father not approve of me baking? What kind of father is that? My love, my dream. Oh, that is then. Then I was correct then before. And I said that, um, the dream, that's where I left. Pursue my dream. And I guess my dream was, uh, baking. You and the cat girls have been helping to destroy all the evidence, though. Evidence? Oh, you mean at, like, home? Haha, <laughs> Well, cakes and candy are kind of different. Never returning home? Oh, that's not good. I would always return home to see my family. Wait, wait, hold on. Yeah, you have the four cat girls, though. Well, if it's delicious, they will. He said that with a slightly troubled smile. Oh, that's no good. Shigure, chocolate, and vanilla said the same thing with the same smile. What? Troubled smile? Why? It would be nice if everything would go that smoothly. 
Just like before with chocolate and vanilla, I rubbed her head and said the same thing I had told them. Is that what Japanese people do with siblings or, you know, or, you know, uh, little sisters just rub their heads? Huh. I'm not Japanese, I don't know. Really? First time? Oh, oh, the Western style confectionery. Of course, this is a baking kitchen, not a candy making kitchen. Shigeri seemed really intrigued as she looked around at the mixers, rollers, and other tools in the kitchen. There was a lot of similar equipment, of course, but there were min minute differences. I wonder if people find the English uh, language hard. It's like, it's like minute? Oh, minute? You mean like 60 seconds? Or minute as in tiny? Like, <laughs> like what? The same, it's the same spelling. Yes, this is where my cakes come from, or make. Oh, I won't just make the girls' hearts sing. I'll make them melt. Eh? Eh? Because I'm baking. And you gotta melt some stuff. Okay, now I see where that clingy part came from. There's no way I'd be okay with that. Not that there was any way I'd be there baking for 24 hours straight. Oh man, that's if you like never needed sleep and you're always like energetic, full of energy and just like didn't need sleep at all. Holy moly, you're like a robot. That'd be kind of cool though, not needing to sleep. Like you'd be super productive. Like you'd be like, oh, I'm not, uh, I'm tired, I don't want to work. You'd be like, boom, bang, I'm awake, I'm always awake. Don't need to sleep, I can do lots of things, wonders. As usual, my little sister said some pretty questionable things. How does she? Yeah, they're doing great. <laughs> really? Is that why you didn't come pick them up? Shigeri took the book on raising cat girls that had been left in the kitchen and giggled. I'm just learning, so there's still lots of stuff I don't understand. Once I'd read the book, I'd realized once again that my family's cat girls were particularly excellent. Wow, that means Shigeri is really mature then if she like taught the cat girls everything, right? I think that's what uh, Astro said before. Apparently, the fact that they were fluent in our language and able to live comfortably with humans made them quite exceptional. Oh. Really? The more I read, the more I realize how much of an education freak you are and just how well you raise them. Ah, I was right! Yes. Love needs to be in there. If there is no love, then that means you just feel empty. She spoke like a mother, closing her eyes and tapping her chest proudly. Huh. Although she was young, I could see that she was reliable and confident enough to raise six cat girls. Six! Oh yeah, chocolate and vanilla. Oh yeah. Seeing that unexpected side of Shigure made me proud to be her older brother. I would take responsibility and act as a good owner. Yes, I will. Yes. Necessary? Well, we'll find out in the next episode of Nico Power what these certain qualifications are. So everyone, I hope you guys enjoyed this episode. If you guys did, then please slime that like button and help support me by sharing this video and by subscribing down below. Thank you everybody for watching this episode and you will hear me in the next one. Goodbye!